Wrestling Observer Alive. And yes, yesterday I sent Mike Sempervivi all of his stuff. I was done. But then I had a change of heart. Looked at my two beautiful. Did you have to put that on the air, Mike? You know, it's all my earnings that you sent me so far here. Hold on, let me see. Nothing. What, what, what did you say? You you looked at your daughters and had a moment of, I just of reflection of, on, your, on your horrible he's self? A, he's a father. He's a husband. I, I just couldn't mm. do it. So I, I brought you back, Mike. And uh, you, are, you are reinstated after one day's suspension. But don't question my pronunciation ever again. I mean, come on. Now, it's funny you should bring that up, Mike, because uh, there was a story that broke yesterday, which uh, we got to talk about here. After being released by WWE last week, Mickey James posted a picture on social media Thursday afternoon showing a box WWE sent her that had her belongings in a trash bag with her name on it. Both Paul Levesque and Stephanie McMahon took to Twitter Thursday night to publicly apologize to James and say the person responsible has been fired. It is unknown if others involved will also be relieved of their duties. Dave Meltzer said the person involved is someone major. And then, moments later, in what quickly became an overhaul of the Talent Relations Department, Senior Director Mark Carano is no longer with WWE, fired on Thursday following the trash bag incident that went viral on Wrestling Twitter. News first reported by Wrestling Inc. confirmed by Dave Meltzer. You know, this is a very, uh, let's start at the beginning. So they brought in this fella here, this Nick Khan, okay? And uh, Nick Khan helped them. Uh, you know, I, I've been seeing this stuff, to go back even further, by the way, this stuff on Twitter. WWE had their earnings call. We can talk about that a little bit later. And and people are like, oh, if only if only Vince was as good at booking as he was at business. And it's like, do you bros know anything about business? You know what Vince's strongest strength is as a businessman? His strong strength? You know what his strongest strength is? What is it? It's hiring other people that are great at business. One of them being Nick Khan. Like, you dorks think that Vince is in all these meetings with these television executives and he's the one that's negotiating? I mean, come on, get out of here. He hired a guy who's really good at his job. So this Nick Khan's really good at his job. So Nick Khan, he, he, uh, he arranges this gigantic, uh, this gigantic television, this new television deal. They're making money hand over fist. And uh, so Nick Khan, this Nick Khan fella, he's got a lot of power now. And so what has been happening of late is that Nick Khan is going in and he's gutting departments in WWE. He's It's out with the old and in with the new. And he's installing his guys in all of these different, this, these different uh, roles. And there have been a lot of them over the last couple of days. A lot of people that used to be doing certain jobs are now lo- no longer doing those jobs. Some have been fired. Some are now doing different jobs, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So one of those people that was not going to be released in this overhaul was Mark Carano. He's been there for a long time. But alas, Mark Carano is now gone. And you know, it's funny. Social media is is it's the best and the worst thing that ever happened. It's the worst thing that ever happened usually because it's just it's a cesspool. It's just, you know, every every idiot has has a platform now and you know, I always hear people go, oh, there's so many idiots nowadays. And it's like, no, my friend, there's the same number of idiots. There actually theoretically could be less idiots nowadays. But the problem is all of those idiots in the old days that could just be idiots inside their house and to their close circle of friends, now they can be idiots and let the whole world know what complete idiots they are. That's one of the downfalls of social media. But you know what one of the, the non-downfalls of social media is? Mickey James posting a photo of her gear being sent back to her in a trash bag. You guys think this is the first time that someone's gear has been sent to them in a trash bag? No. This has happened before. And there have been other WWE talents have now come forward and say, Man, I remember when my gear was sent back in a trash bag. And what happened was, nobody ever said anything. And then Mickey James comes out and she posts her picture on social media of the trash bag. And everybody gets up in arms and they realize, my God, they sent her her stuff in a trash bag. How disrespectful. And then somebody gets fired. 
That is because of social media. Now, when you really think about this story, it is just astonishing. Like, this is a horrible business, everybody. And especially, like, you know, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 40 years ago. Like, quite frankly, it was, a, it was like a 10 times worse business back then than it is today. But when you think that some bloke put her stuff in a trash bag, and this was not the first time, and they sent it, it's like, what? It's almost comedy. It's almost funny that in 2021, somebody thought that, oh, we'll just get away with it again. Let's put all of her stuff in a trash bag, and we'll send it out there. This Hall of Famer. It really, I mean... I mean, it's not a surprise. It is actually a surprise to me. It is a surprise to me that someone thought that they could get away with that in 2021. Now, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, I mean, God only knows what their, their gear would have been encased in. But you sit here and you think, dude, it's 2021. Like, what's going on here? Well, what's going on is it's time to be out with the old and in with the new. Now, I want to give you a chance, Mike, here to uh, to do some commentary. And then I got something else I got to say that's directed it at this uh, Nick Khan fella. Oh, hey, you know, look, this is a business that's rooted in the carnival and uh, it's rooted in a lot of spite sometimes and just not thinking. And as we move into a new era with WWE having a, in my opinion, a renewed interest on how they want to position themselves as far as a company goes, nothing that's actually got to do with the in-ring, but as far as how they want their presentation to be and how they would like to be viewed, you know, it's more than than time to, to make these moves. And while I am not going to celebrate anybody's public relations wing or anything like that, Triple H and Stephanie McMahon coming out very quickly afterwards after this came down and issuing the statements that they did on Twitter and leaving it be with what they left it be with, very smart from their point of view. Nick Khan taking a bigger role in this company and becoming a bigger head in this company, obviously, is probably a good move. And it looks as if it's not just Mark Carano, but there were other people that have to something to do with talent, including two other names that I'm not sure if we're going to get in, going to get into or not, that have also been released. Where we are obviously looking at a a new change as wwe continues to change on how they would like to be viewed and where they would like to position themselves if you enjoy these videos for just seven dollars and 99 cents per month you can enjoy full length editions of the brian and Vinny show wrestling observer live figure four daily with tom lawler and lance storm plus hundreds of archived shows all in beautiful hd don't miss out join us today